Gangtok Tour Second Part Welcome to my travel blog In the solo motorbike tour I did in August 2018 I started from Kolkata in West Bengal going to Murshidabad and then to Darjeeling From there I went to Gangtok in Sikkim and I was there for 3 days After this I went to Nepal and then to Dehradun finishing my journey in about 1 month Now this travel blog video is about my third day in Gangtok During the day I visited the Army Black Cat Museum within Gangtok city then I went to Bakthang Waterfalls and to Rumtek Monastery But first the Army Black Cat Museum. It is a very recently built museum located within Gangtok city and on the main road. It's a very small museum and it has displays about Indian Army's history, the Sikkim military history, a photo gallery depicting the history, culture, traditions and other things about Sikkim. I think I was there for about half an hour as it is small but it is very interesting and it should be for people interested in military history and history in general. I would rate it as a must visit place in Gangtok. It is recent. It is easily accessible. And they had even mentioned about the recent Doklam skirmish between India and China in the museum. Okay, so now I'm on my way to see the Bakthang waterfalls and then the Rumtek monastery. Both of them are a bit far away from Gangtok city. Now this is the early morning traffic seen in Gangtok. Long line of cars. If you watch closely probably you will see some differences from other cities. At least to my eyes there seem to be more number of four wheelers than two wheelers on the roads. Well that is in comparison to other cities in India. And there probably is more number of tourist vehicles cars than private vehicles. Anyway that's the impression I got. Now if you come to Sikkim it being a tourist place there are a number of places for you to visit. There is the Nathula Pass Yuksom, Pelling, Fodong Monastery, Yumtang, Somgo Lake and so many other places. This is just a sample. But you have to travel a fair bit from Gangtok to see these places. And there are other bureaucratic difficulties like taking permits. I just went to the few places which are really easily accessible and the ones you can go by riding a motorcycle. This one was one such, the Bakthang Waterfalls, it is on the main road and is on the way to Rumtek Monastery. Nothing much to do at the Bhaktang waterfalls. You can just stop there for maybe about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, probably half an hour, take selfies and leave. Now this is the road to Rumtek Monastery. It is about 40 kilometers from Gangtok city. And at the time I went, the roads were not in good condition. Probably because of the damage caused due to the rains. The road to Rumtek Monastery itself has some good scenic locations on the way. The monastery is on the top of a hill and you have to climb it. It's not very steep, but the roads are not very good, so it will take like 1 and a half to 2 hours to reach the place even though it is only just 40 kilometers. Now, as I said before, there are other things to see in Sikkim and probably much more beautiful and mesmerizing than the ones I went. Going to these places is also more adventurous. So, it is for those kind of people, more adventurous. The roads to those places I was informed was la- something like this. Not the best ones in the world. Anyway, a lot of people who come to Sikkim do go to these places, but not necessarily on a motorbike. So, what I said was from my viewpoint. If you are coming on a motorcycle on a ride, those are the places for the adventurous ones. I didn't go there because of several reasons. First, I didn't plan on coming to Sikkim when I started from Kolkata like about 1 week back. It was only after coming to Darjeeling that I made up my mind to come to Sikkim. Otherwise, my plan was to go to the northeast. Then the weather was not always at its best. It was raining intermittently, although today it is a fair bit of good weather. The other one is the need for taking permits. to go to these places Sikkim being a border state especially border with China you need permits to go to the border states because i think most of them are managed by the army i mean the places at the border like the Nathula pass and all the other lakes that are near to the borders i had only a very rough idea about it and even though i did some research on internet it seemed a bit cumbersome to me Most of the tourists who come here plan for their travels. They do the research before. They know about the permits and probably they come through the uh, with the help of the tourist agents who manage all these things for them. 
then even after coming to Gangtok, you can take the help of these agents. They will do it for you, especially if you're going in their four wheelers, uh, their cars. And most of these places at the border are having very harsh climatic conditions, like uh, very cold, even minus uh, degree Celsius temperatures. And since I hadn't planned on going to these uh, places, I didn't have any kind of uh, specific gear like uh, uh, cold clothing and all those things. Going to those places requires a lot of planning, resources and adventurous spirit. So I just settled on the things which I could do as a solo rider and here is one of them, Rumtek Monastery. So being a solo rider has its advantages and disadvantages. Anyway, now let us come to the monastery. So if you are in Sikkim, if you are coming to Gangtok, then this one is a must visit place. It doesn't take too much effort or money or resources or other things to visit this place. Compared to other monasteries, the Rumtek monastery has certain restrictions. There is more security at this place. They won't allow every vehicle to enter the monastery compound itself. So you have to park your vehicle outside and you have to climb a hill. It's not very steep. Well, that walk and climb will do you good because of that peaceful atmosphere in the monastery, the architecture, its historic significance and all that. It is also called Dharma Chakra Center. There is a golden stupa in the monastery and probably that is one reason for the increased security. Then I think there is some controversy surrounding the monastery. Well, I shouldn't be going into that. I'm here just to see the place, enjoy it and go back. Now this monastery is very old. I think it was built initially in the 1700s. Not in the same condition and state as it is now. It wasn't rebuilt by Karmapa Lama who came to India from Tibet. And after being rebuilt in around 1966, I think now this is the largest monastery in Sikkim. As I understood from this place and other monasteries after coming to Sikkim, Buddhist religion has different segments or different parts or groups and they follow different religious practices although from the outside for a person who is not very knowledgeable about the religion they might all look the same but they are not in fact buddhism is not is a, not a very simple religion it has its own complexities like other religions so the controversy about this monastery i think is because of the different groups or at least two groups trying to take control of the place now i'm not sure what how when and all that so don't hold me to it the best thing to do is just come see and enjoy the place the beauty the calmness the entire atmosphere the golden stupa and all those things the architecture is interesting especially the paint works a monastery is not just a prayer hall or a temple it is a school for buddhist monks so you can see a lot of monks at the place doing prayers and other things and you can probably spend about two or three hours at this place the peaceful atmosphere is very attractive it will hold you to the place so i spent most part of the day at the monastery and I had a kind of different experience due to one specific event at the place. I was just walking around the monastery and there was a Buddhist monk walking some distance ahead of me. And at one point he bent and sat on the ground on the road on the way. He took something up from his pocket uh, like a small stick and took something from the road and placed it uh, onto the side and then walked away. It was some kind of an insect, uh, some kind of a very small leech kind of insect. So the monk who was uh, in front of me took the leech with his small stick and placed it onto the side of the road so that nobody could kill it inadvertently. It was a very, very small insect. You won't see it normally. Well, at least most of us won't. But these monks ensures that even by accident, nobody kills even a small insect just by stepping on it. You and I will not even 
think about such things. You will not see an insect on the road. You are simply not bothered. Or rather I should say about myself, I am not sure about you. <laughs> so what I am trying to say here is the different thought process, the different ideas and concepts of the people over there, the monks of the Buddhist religion. I was really surprised in those 5-10 seconds and uh, then I was extra careful walking around the place so that you know even by accident I won't kill the smallest of the insects at least within the monastery and uh, you know, do something to the peaceful and calm atmosphere of the place. So anyway, as a footnote, if you are coming to Room Tech Monastery or even to any other monasteries, try and watch your step. Okay, so these very insignificant events are the experiences you gain on such travels. If you are not getting such things, then probably you are doing something wrong. You will probably cherish such smallest of the things in your life. Well, at least I do. Not sure about others. You don't have to be extremely adventurous to enjoy a ride, a travel, a trip. For me, this bad road is as adventurous as going to Ladakh or Nathula. It has all the ingredients of an adventure if you know how and where to look. Anyway, let me stop these uh, philosophies. I really do want to be more adventurous. I really do want to go to Nathula, Ladakh and all those places. And probably one day I will. But not just this time. It needs more preparation and planning. That's it. Simple as that. Okay, now it's about evening and I am going back to the room. The day was good. It had its events. For me, those 5-10 seconds in Room Tech Monastery made the day. And I would be leaving Sikkim on the 4th day, that is uh, tomorrow. At the time, I had planned on going to the Northeast. Uh, but then on the morning, I changed my plans. Because I heard it was raining over there. So instead of Northeast states, I would be going to Nepal. And that is going to be another unplanned event. So I'm going to end this one here and my next video is about my travel from Sikkim to Nepal border. And you just saw a preview of that me getting out of uh, Sikkim. So as everybody say, if you like the video, uh, don't forget, do like it, share it with your friends and uh, subscribe to my channel. And the link for the next video is given here. It is the ride from Sikkim to Nepal border.